Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Natalie. In this tutorial, I create and assign a custom post type template with the new Cadence Team Builder feature. Plus, I have dynamic data, so you don't need to recreate it over and over again. Before we get started, please support the channel by giving a big thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. It's free and means a lot to me. In the first video part, I make the single custom post type template and the second part is dedicated to make the archive custom post type templates. Here it is my plugin list. I have the advanced custom fields, the pro version to have the metadata, the custom post type Y plugin to make my custom post types, the cadence team pro along the cadence blocks free and pro version. Next, I want to show you my custom post type created with the custom post type Y plugin. I've created the custom post type named Stores. Here they are my six custom post type to create a Stores directory. Also, have created an ACF field group named as Store Feature. In the rules, I determined that these fields should appear on my custom post type, the store, as you can check inside the red box. Inside the ACF field, I had a repeater field type. I choose the repeater field, which is part of the ACF Pro version, once it provides a neat solution for repeating content are my six custom post types consisting of text, title, image. Down below, we easily find my ACF field group. I have already filled in the metadata in order to be able to pull in dynamically when inside the WordPress editor. The step I want to make is my single custom post type template. Before we dive deeper, let's check if the Cadence Elements is already enabled. Head over to Appearance Cadence Dashboard. From there, make sure you toggle on the Hook Elements feature inside there. Click now on the Cadence Elements menu to create one. As you can see, the new Cadence Theme feature is here. Click on the Template option. Name it as you want. And we are now under the WordPress editor, the Gutenberg. Next step is to set up the Cadence element. On the little pencil icon at the top, on the preview settings now, select from the list your custom post type label. Then click on Select Preview Post button to select which post is used for dynamic content while in the Gutenberg editor. I choose the first one. The next field is to determine the element placement. Within the temp, I want to replace the single post content option once I want to add my custom content area. In the display settings, I specify I want to show on single stores my custom post type label. Below, I say to Gutenberg to select the custom post type individually instead of group. Then I have told which post item is to be used. You could add additional settings such as the user, user settings, meaning you can set up if this setup, if this template is to be visible or restricted to all users or to some of them based on the WordPress user role. I don't want to have any restrictions so it's visible to all users. Date and then switch to the design mode by clicking on the little gear icon at the top. Within the left cadence column, I have the cadence image overlay block to fetch my image dynamically. Let's do that. From the right side, I activate the dynamic feature by clicking on this little icon. Then I choose the image. It's that simple. I want to have dynamically the post link. I click on the link pane, enable the dynamic link feature. Right column, I had the user info block. I disabled the avatar. The next block is to add the ACF fields to this template. Did to do this, I had an advanced heading block. Enable the dynamic content. In the content, I choose the post title. Click on the Add Dynamic Content button. Change the HTML tag. I had an advanced heading block to fetch dynamically the post excerpt. I enable the dynamic content. In the content, I specify the post excerpt area to be pulled in. I change the HTML tag, etc. 
And then I had a, a block list. Enable the dynamic content. Selected the post con custom field from the list. Below specify which one, which of the ACF fields you want to pull, to pull in. The right side I change in one click the icon to be used. Go to edit all icon styles together to do that. Within this area decide on the icon you want to use. As you can see with one single click I tweak the icons. Click on the second icon empty space. Enable the dynamic content. Determine I want to pull in a AC, ACF field. This time is the phone number. Click on the have dynamic on. Let's check now on the front end how it looks like my demo. Okay, that's a start. Obviously, you could add a button or a read more link. Now it's time to make the custom post type archive template. Create a new cadence element template. I called store archive template. Click on the little pencil icon at the top. Under the preview settings, I select the custom post type. And then I choose the custom post type to use as a preview. The placement is to replace archive loop template to be shown on star archives. I had an in a cadence full width row layout as the container. Inside there, I placed an advanced heading block to pull in the post title. I activated the dynamic content and it's a very straightforward process. The next block is another and advanced heading block to fetch the post excerpt. I adjust the font size. The next move is to add the cadence grid carousel block to the table. It will bring in the normal and the usual blog posts, but we will be changing this to custom post type. To do this from the right hand side under the post type, just select the custom post type and that's it. Here are all of my custom post type images I have assigned to them. Then below it's a matter of filtering your choices. It's beautiful, isn't it? You can even control from the right hand side the number of items. Enable the dynamic content feature, select take the ACF fields to pull in the ACF fields I wanted to. For the second and the third icon list I have inserted from the WordPress database all my ACF fields. Let's check now. Here is the archive page. When I click on it, it opens up the single custom post type template. This concludes this introduction to Cadence Elements templates released in a few days. With this new technology, Cadence has brought more powerful features. We now have full control over the design layouts. We can now decide what content gets displayed. We control the where, the when and to whom. It's an incredible new way to play the game without the need to require a developer. This is my honest opinion. So I hope you found this video useful to you. Please leave a big thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified about new releases. Thank you so much for watching. I catch you in my next one.